In this video, we're gonna see if ChatGBT can code a mobile app using Flutter as good as I can a human. So let's find out. So in a previous video, I made a travel app, which looks like this, from a design I found on Dribbble, coding it using Flutter. And I thought, what if I told ChatGBT to make an app that looks just like this? Can it do it? And can it do it better than I did? So let's find out. So this is ChatGBT and this is the free version. I know a lot of you will probably be using the free version. So I wanna see what you might be able to get as well. But if you enjoy this video, let me know by liking it and leaving a comment. Maybe I'll pay for the premium version and get ChatGBT4 and see if it's much better or worse and see what we can create. But let's tell ChatGBT to make us a travel app just like the one I have now. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's see how we can explain to our chat what we want to create. And we can do that just by looking at the design and saying, hey, let's make this. Uh, can you please code for me a code for me a travel app using Flutter? I want it to have four sections. Is that four, one, two, three, yep, four sections. Uh, the top section will have a user uh, profile, I will have a profile image and say welcome username. And then on the right, it will have a notifications icon. Let's fix that. Below that, I need a uh, section where the user can search and filter and, a, and have a filter button to filter the locations. Cool. Uh, below that, I want a section called recommended and it has a horizontal list view of image cards. And on the image, it has the price as well as the location name and location country. Cool, all right, let's spell recommended correctly. Recommended. And then lastly, and lastly, I need a section called top destinations, which I just realized I spelled wrong in my design. No one told me. Uh, and this will also have a um, horizontal list view um, with locations. These locations should be a smaller uh, card with a square image on the left with rounded corners because ours does and on the right the location and country so if you were to tell me this I think that this is detailed enough to get this we don't really need the buttons at the bottom because they don't do anything but let me know if you think different, but I think by reading this and looking at this, that explains it very well. Um, let me just do image cards and with rounded corners, just because those have corners as well. So we're gonna copy this and then see what chat GBT actually gives us. Will it give us this? Will it give us not this? Will it give us better than this? Um, so let's see what it does. So I can provide you with a sample code for a travel app with the specifications you have given using Flutter. Please note that this is just a sample and you can customize it according to your requirements. Firstly, you need to create a new Flutter project and import uh, the necessary packages. Here's the code for the main.dart file. So it's giving me a file called main.dart. I already have that, which is great. Um, and I'm gonna read through the code just so you know while it types. And we have avoid main. This is going to run our travel app. We're then going to uh, have our travel app. This is a stateless widget. It's gonna return a material app, which is good. It's gonna give us a travel app as the title and the theme color, uh, theme data is going to be blue. Then it's gonna run our home page. 
our home page is returning a scaffold. In that scaffold, we have an app bar with the tax travel app. And this is interesting. The uh, actions is going to be an icon button, icons notifications. So it's not doing it like this. Um, below that, in our body, we're going to have a uh, single child scroll view. It is uh, cross axis alignment to the start, that's fine. Uh, it is actually using network images. We might get an issue with this if these network images don't exist. Um, and I don't think they might via dot placeholder dot com. Uh, so we'll have to get our own images and that's fine. I'll, I'll help the chat bot out a little bit. Uh, then it has our welcome username below. Okay. And then uh, spacer has a button for search, doesn't do anything, but that's fine, neither does mine. And uh, yeah, below that, all right, I think it's done. Oh, it did stop, so anytime it stops, uh, you actually have to write continue. The only downside to that is it's going to, okay, didn't, it didn't do it here, but sometimes it'll break and it'll just start writing it in actual text rather than uh, actual code like it is here. So it kind of fixed itself there. Uh, what else is here? Well, I guess, yeah, network image, which is great. We are going to get issues with that. Um, column. Okay, let's see what else it gives us. So far, it's just giving us the images, which is fine. Um, I expected it to... What is it doing here? I expected it to do like a class or, or a list. Hasn't really given us a list. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab this uh, code and uh, go into commands. We will CD into our desktop. We'll flutter, create uh, AI proj, and then we'll CD into AI proj, and then code dot. All right, so we're gonna take this code that we were just given by uh, chat GVT. They said put it in our main dot dart, so we're good there. And then we'll scroll down and grab the other section. And I like at the very end, it kind of messed up, up here, but it'll tell you kind of the, uh, you know, how to use it and stuff. Let's go back to our, um, this one. Oh, I'm still running mine from earlier, my travel app. There we go. And then we'll paste it in here. And we do have an error. Um, we have an error, there's no comma here. No, where is the error coming from? Text is broken. We missed a comma here, there we go. And then we have an error at the bottom. Oh, chat GBT, you missing your commas. I don't think we did, right? Oh, there's two more right here. It, see, it, it kind of broke at the end. Uh, kind of missed that though. <laughs> uh, that's fine. Uh, I need to close this. There we go. And then we'll add the two at the very bottom. There we go. Good. So this is working. Um, sorry. This is working. We'll scroll this over here. And uh, yeah, we need to get the images. Uh, these are not going to work. Um, I don't think this is an actual website. Text equals image plus one. Uh, we'll just run it because what do I know? I copy pasted code from a chat, chat bot. <laughs> How do I know what works and doesn't work? Um, but we'll see what happens and then we'll try to help it out and fix it. Cool thing though is if you do get errors with chat GBT code, it is kind of good about giving you solutions to fixing those errors. So if something does go wrong, you can just say, hey, this doesn't work. Okay. This is not as bad as I was expecting it to be. That actually looks pretty cool. Uh, we did get issues with the images, so let me pause it and fix those real quick so we can judge it in all of its glory. All right, so I actually realized we don't have to fix the images. This is a real website that I didn't know existed, and the images are just image one, image two. Um, it does throw an error on uh, one of the images being cached. Um, if you see here, image one does show image one, image two, sometimes these just break. I think that's just issues with the images. Um, we could replace them, but these are in fact, there we go. These are in fact images and they are loading, uh, which is pretty interesting. So this is kind of what I told it to do. Um, definitely mine looks much prettier. I hope you think so. Um, but there's a search box here for some reason. Uh, this is where the search box is. 
Uh, we do have the notifications, which I shouldn't click stuff. Uh, some of those things are broken. And then uh, we can get rid of the keyboard. Got rid of the keyboard, but here we go. We have location one, country one. Um, it's $100 and we can book it now. Booking it now does nothing. Clicking it does nothing, which is fine because I don't have it. But yeah, I would like to, I would say right off the bat, this doesn't, I mean, this is a good starting point. Um, definitely does not look the same as mine, but it's a good start. It is keeps throwing an error on the, uh, the cache, but that's okay. We could always fix that. Ask GBT how to stop that as well. Um, in fact, let's, you know, we're having an issue here. Let's ask chat GBT if, uh, if he can, if they can fix it. I keep getting error. All right, let's see what it says about this then. Uh, image you're trying to load in your app is not available in the cache when it is being accessed. One way to resolve this is to ensure that the asset is fully loaded into the cache before trying to access it. To do this, you can use a pre-cache image. Um, so this is really cool actually. It's saying, hey, you could pre-cache these images um, instead and if we do that, then this is actually pretty cool. So we can go back to our code and since we're getting that issue, we can scroll towards the top, find out where it told us to call that, which was class my app extends. So right at the top of my, uh, I'm guessing here is where it would want it. Eh, that's not it here. There we go we could actually have that. And then if we refresh it, maybe that will fix the image issues. Um, it's cool that this image website works. I might start using it, but there we go. That fixed the issue and now it shouldn't throw those out anymore. Uh, the images aren't loading until they're ready to load rather than loading when they're not ready. But I think this is, you know, a job well done. Definitely not, still an issue, but <laughs> definitely not as good as mine. Um, definitely check out my video where we do code that mobile app from scratch using the dribble design. But let me know if you'd like to see more AI uh, coding. I think this has a lot of potential and this was just with one command. We could go back and change it, give it more specifics, and probably get the exact same design that I made or very, very close if we just give it a lot more detail, which I would love to do. So let me know if you wanna see more of that. But at least in this video, the human, me, I win, ChatGBT, we're gonna have to have a rematch. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.